Having COG and TSM at the top of North America is like a throwback to the beginning of League of Legends. So Rivington the third here at MLG, about to debut League of Legends here on Saturday. Hopefully, you know, everybody really takes it in nicely. Guys like Dyrus, Doublelift, St. Vicious, they've been here since the start. CLG, the champions of the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in Cologne. Crescendo goes down, the dunk on to Chase. Dyrus coming up huge. The one kill, bends up for double. Bends up kill, double air. Boy Boy and St. Bass Brothers going in hard here. Very solid finish. With all the new players coming into North America, it's kind of strange to see the old guard on top again. Welcome to week three of the 2015 North American League Championship Series. The crowd is getting pumped up here today. We've got them standing out in line, but just because you're in line doesn't mean you can't have fun. A few friends brought along with them a tailgate and all the fixings to go along with that. And of course, TIP arriving, Zhao Wei Zhao, all smiles. Showing some love to the crowd. He'll soon be facing off against Cop and Gravity in our first match of the day. It's great to have you all with us for another full day of matches here in Los Angeles. Hello, everyone. I'm James Dash Patterson. Joining me on the analyst desk to get things started is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler, Aiden Zyrene Moon, and David Freak Turley. How are you guys doing today? Awesome. It's good to be back. I Every, every week I look forward to getting back on the LCS, getting to talk about some great games. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. I'm a little jealous of the fans in the parking lot I was about there. to say, I oh, have yeah. a hankering for a burger yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> what else could you ask for? A hot grill, some great League of Legends. That's it. That's all we need. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, last week Zion Spartan joined CLG's starting lineup, and the results were immediate. A 2-0 finish and a more dominating CLG than we've seen in quite a while. Yeah, this is exactly what CLG needed. They've tried so long to find a top laner that fit with the team. They finally did. Zion is crushing it. And he's thinking he's playing team fighters. He's not playing his old jack split push, all his old style. He's fitting in with CLG how they want him to play. And again, he is dominating. He is number two in top lane KDA. He is number two in top CS differential at 10. He's performing well individually and he's working with the team. Yeah, and he's also performing really well in things that don't necessarily show up in statistics. Like his ability to create pressure on the map away from double lift, away from the rest of the team. Uh, it was cloud nine. They sent multiple three-man ganks up towards Zion. He avoided them all. We don't have a stat for getting out alive in a one versus three situation, <laughs> but he did it really well, and he was able to stay relevant through the entire game, even with that much pressure. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that so many teams are allocating pressure to Zion, it frees up the rest of CLG to make plays. We saw Aphromoo playing pick-oriented supports. <laughs> People are thinking about, all right, let's get Zion, and then it's like, oh, let's go mid lane, and then they have to rotate, and Aphromoo was always there in the middle being like, you're not thinking about this Morgana and catching people out. And it was beautiful play, and I want to see more of that from CLG. Well, with that 2-0 weekend, CLG is now sitting in a three-way tie for first, sharing the top spot with TSM. And that reignites a rivalry that is older than the LCS itself. Oh, yeah. I mean, TSM, they've been around the top for quite a long time, and they played really well last weekend, um, especially having not having to have Bjergsen carry. I mean, right. Wild Turtle came up with some mid-game plays. They put a lot of farm onto him. He was the one who actually opted to go for the uh, lane swap and do fast pushing. So props to TSM for branching out from that Bjergsen style. Uh, the thing is, CLG have always had the potential you know, to be right. that rival for TSM, to get back into first place. Now they're actually in first place, and we have to see if they can actually keep it. Yeah, exactly. It's always been the fact that, like, fans always wanted CLG to be good. This is the roster that is. It's CLG. They're <laughs> back, baby. They're going to do some crushing. <laughs> All right, well, you got Freak's vote of confidence there. The final team in that tie for first is Gravity. And beyond climbing in the standings, their 80 carry cop crossed the 500 career kills mark, a milestone that only one other NALCS player has accomplished in regular season play. And this is really cool to see how well all the old guard is doing. We heard the intro video talking about St. Vicious and Double and all these guys. Uh, but you just see this entire roster of players, and most of these guys have been around since forever. And it's good to see that they are still <laughs> holding up. I like that. Since forever. Literally pre-season one. Yeah. Season one, all of these guys. Yeah, playing. I played against these guys in beta, <laughs> and they're still in the top tier. That's great. Yeah, that's how you make that list, though, is playing a lot of games and getting a lot of kills during them. If you're not playing as many games, less opportunities to get on that list. Yep. Now, unfortunately, this week the league will lose one of its veteran players in crumbs. He announced that he would be stepping down as Team Dignitas' jungler and captain. Yeah, this is a guy, he's been around for a really long time, and pretty much everybody's sad to see him go. He's such a stand-up guy, and he's a very genuine person. Uh, but I have to see, 
Dignitas, you know, since they've been struggling at the beginning of this season, some things that Crumbs brought up in his video were that, you know, he likes to play the game a little bit differently than the rest of the team. Now that the team gets to choose their replacement jungler, they can pick somebody who's on the same page and we'll actually get to see what this new roster from Dig wanted to do from the beginning, maybe. Yeah, don't know how much we're going to see of that, though, because it's only been like half a week and they've been able to just pull somebody pretty quickly out of social. Yeah, and they haven't even secured it. Like, there's yeah, still Cloud right. Nguyen. He's on tryout still. Like, they're going to play him this week, but it's not a sure thing. Yeah, it'd be cool to see Dig do better. I just think it's it. if they do get better, it won't be right now. Yeah, they really I, suffered from an identity crisis, like what they wanted to do in a game, what was their win condition as players, what was their style, and they didn't have a style. Yeah, they'll that need a little bit of time to develop. Uh, we've talked about the three-way tie for first, but I want to take a look at how the rest of the teams are lined up. So behind our leaders, we have Team 8, Impulse, Liquid, and Winter Fox, who are all tied for fourth with two wins and two losses. And sharing eighth place are Cloud9, Coast, and Team Dignitas with one win. For more on the strength of these teams, you can check out a new power rankings broken down by region on lolesports.com. Looking at today's schedule, though, we're starting with Gravity versus Team Impulse. After that, Cloud9 will face off against Team 8, and we'll conclude the day with Winter Fox and Counter Logic Gaming. Now, before we throw it over to the caster desk, though, we are going to take a, mo a moment to break down a few of the players we'll be watching this week. All right, I'm going to start it off watching Santorin. I mean, coming into the split, everybody was worried about him because he played so passively at IEM, and he seemed to be really scared being the new guy on TSM. But he's really grown into his role. He stepped up as a team player for these guys. 92% kill participation. Mm -hmm. This guy is everywhere. Yeah, and I actually have to pick someone who's been kind of the inverse of Santorin. He came in with a lot of hype and didn't perform very well. That's Piglet. Piglet is still an absolutely phenomenal individual player. You watch his stream, you see the kinds of things he's, he's capable of doing. What I really like is he'll sit in lane CSing, but just watch the other lanes and like make sure he knows what's going on around the map, even if he's not getting communication because he doesn't speak much English. He can do this while last hitting perfectly. Again, a great individual player. The problem is, especially when you're an AD carry player, your success is tied to your team's success. Right? He's played Saver, he's played Caitlyn. But neither of those champions are individual playmakers. You have to be near the team to do good things. And when Team Liquid goes 0-2, of course his scoreline's going to look bad. I think Piglet will be doing better in the future. And it's going to be today to see if he can kind of make that happen. Yeah, and I'm going to look at somebody that we've never seen before. It's Cloud Win in the jungle for Team Dignitas. Now, this guy, he's coming in, he's joining a team that's had a little bit of problem in the past, but can he be the little pin that they need to just bring everything together? I don't know if he can do it, but we're going to see. Well, we want to get your opinion on the subject of new players. So today we're asking, what has been the best roster addition to the NALCS and why this season? Share your thoughts with us at Lolly Sports and use the hashtag LCS. Now, if you want to do some research for your response, head to lollysports.com for in-depth player and team profiles, stats, and VODs. You can also reserve your spot to join our studio audience here in Los Angeles and cheer your favorite teams on in person. Now, to get us into today's matches, because I'm excited to see them, we're going to send them over to the caster desk to kick off our games.